Hey everybody, Eric here, and today I'm going to make a video about indoor air quality. Uh, now this isn't an area of expertise of mine. Um, this is really not <laughs> something that I, I make videos about in general, but um, with the recent fires and all in California, um, the indoor quality of uh, indoor air quality has really gotten pretty bad and, uh, and is affecting us personally. So um, something that I found helpful uh, in the last few days um, was to replace my air filter. So um, just thought I'd make a quick video about that and um, hopefully it helps other people too. So um, one of the first things I did was I went to Home Depot uh, and you can find this at Lowe's or any hardware store um, and try to find the highest rating I could find on, um, on these filters. So um, this one happens to be Honeywell. Some of my friends says the ones at Lowe's at, um, I think Filtrate is the other one, has a MERS rating. So um, you just got to compare the, the chart of what they do filter. I believe MERS 13 is the same as the FPR 10. Um, and just by comparison, you know, 4, 7, 9, and 10, 4 is your basic, it has like dust and lint and all that. Um, this one, uh, level 7, which is what I usually get, um, does a little bit more and has uh, mold and bacteria uh, filtering. And then uh, I skipped the 9 this time around because of all the fire and I went straight for the 10 which um, filters most smoke and smog particle um, and I did feel a difference. Um, so probably partly because the last time I changed my air filter was maybe half a year ago so when I did take out my, my level 7 um, you could see that the, these white filters here, they were a little bit gray. Um, so I'm pretty sure it was, um, it was already clogged. Um, so it's not performing as its best. I think these are supposed to be replaced every three months or so. Um, yeah, so like here, it says provide up to 90 days of airflow. So um, if you haven't changed your air filter in a while, I encourage you to do it. Um, and so yeah, this one level 10. And then the other thing you gotta watch out for is the size. So um, mine is 16 by 25. Um, so how you can find that out, it's pretty easy. So find your vents, wherever it is, if it's in the hallway or in the ceiling somewhere. Um, mine's in a closet. I happen to put some towel here just to help uh, prevent any smoke from coming in because I do have a vent down here. Uh, for from the crawl space and that's the outside air so um, my technician was nice enough to have this little box for me uh, so it's easy to change out filter so first thing once you open the lid mine already says it's not it's not as a standard size it's a 16 by 25 it's not anything special it does say airflow direction on the box so uh, you want to point this towards your furnace um, and that's it. I mean, you just here. Let me move this tripod back. Yeah. So just all it is is just um, slide it in, and that's it. So nothing difficult about it, uh, as long as it's accessible. Hopefully, yours is not in the attic somewhere, so you can change it up easily. Um, one thing I I did um, I did read about is you could potentially have a filter that's too dense for <clears throat> for your system so um, I guess read your menus and see if uh, if there's a recommended um, density on your filters because if it if it is too dense um, you would have uh, limited airflow into your AC system and that's not good for the for the system either so so yeah um, the last couple of days we we did feel like the smoke has gone down it's not really a scientific measure but uh, at least my eyes are less irritated, and um, so that that's good. And then uh, we also just purchased an air purifier. So if you have access to those, I know those are hard to find now, but um, do turn them on and just keep them running. Uh, hopefully that will help you guys out. All right, take care. 